Hey, it's Earl Evans of the RetroBits podcast. What you're looking at is a raspberry pie. On top of the pie is a topping. That topping is the Pie Face Control and Display Module. It plugs into the Raspberry Pi and gives you a nice LCD backlit display and some buttons to use as a user interface. With some Python code, I've managed to turn this into a virtual disk drive for the Epson PX8 notebook computer. It's coming on from a cold start, and boom, there it goes. Now, right now, it's looking for a disk image to select. But first, let's go over to the PX8 computer, turn it on, and you'll see that if I try to go to the D drive on the PX8, it's unhappy. It says, no, there's no D drive. You have a BDOS error. What are we going to do? Well, let's go back to the Raspberry Pi and select a disk image to use. Sorry about the fuzzy video. It's the best I could do. I'll try and upload a better one. So I'm selecting a disk image that has PX8 games on it, and now it's running. So now I go back to the Epson PX8 computer. Again, I try to go to the D drive, and this time it works. So I'm able to do a directory of the D drive, and I see that there's a few games there for the PX8, because that's the disk image that I selected. I'm going to run a game called Snake. It's a little bit like a combination of Centipede and Space Invaders, all in one game. And it's kind of cool, because it does run real well on the PX8's 80 column by 8 line display. Here you'll see the uh, initial instructions for how to play the game coming up. But I'm not going to play it right now, because what I want to demonstrate next is <clears throat> going back to the Raspberry Pi and selecting another disk image. So let's go back over to the Raspberry Pi. Let's press the Select button, which will enable us to select another disk image. Then we'll use the little rocker switch on the Pi face. We'll select fourth.d88. Now, if I go to the D drive and type a directory, I've got a whole different set of files there because I'm looking at a different disk image. So now I'm going to run fourth. Even at maximum speed, the disk drive for the PX8 was not a barn burner. Although, compared to some of their uh, disk drive connections, it wasn't bad. It ran at 38,400 baud. So you see I've already got this fourth interpreter loaded up. And I'm typing in some numbers, and then I'm going to um, add them or multiply them or something. And then I press the dot, which in fourth says whatever's at the top of the stack, kick it off. Now I say buy, and buy in fourth kicks me back out. So now I'm going to exit the PF 2010, or sorry, 2014 software. It says exiting, and boom, it's gone. 